And so the thing to realize is this, a country, a government is going to want to keep its citizens working by really creating this end game where they're dangling this carrot in front of you to just keep you productive, keep you working, hustling, grinding away, and they just need to come up with all sorts of goat things for you. And so actually, it's a lot like a video game, like say Diablo 4. This might come as a shocker to some of you, but your government, they don't give a F about you. In this video, we are going to take a look at Money is a PSYOP, How They Keep You Working by Tech Lead. So what does he mean exactly? Is money really a PSYOP? And how do they keep you working? And who's they to begin with? Now I've come to the realization that work is a PSYOP. Money itself is a bit of a PSYOP actually. Like, you take a look at myself, I'm a millionaire, more than that. And it's like, do you know how much money I spend in a day? About $10. I spend maybe 10 bucks a day, there's absolutely nothing to buy, and yet I see so many people around me hustling, working hard, giving up their entire lives in this chase for luxury. In my opinion, if you are a millionaire, but you're not going to spend your money on the things that you need or that you enjoy, what's the point of chasing that million dollars in the first place? Now, fair enough, if you're not into luxury, should you chase this kind of lifestyle? Not necessarily, it's not made for everybody. And at the end of the day, everyone should be living their life the way that they want to. If you want to be a millionaire and just save some cash and you don't want to spend your money really, you can do that. I mean, Warren Buffett, he still drinks Coca-Cola and he eats at McDonald's pretty often actually. There's this book called The Millionaire Next Door and in my opinion, it does a great job at showing that making a million dollars or being worth a million dollars, being a millionaire, it's not actually what you would think because there's being a millionaire and being a millionaire. Now, what's the difference? There's the Instagram millionaire, like they're showing you the lifestyle, the cars, the fancy vacations, the dream life. And then there's the net worth millionaire. It's like people who maybe invested in real estate at a certain time and over time their investment grew and and now they are worth a million dollars. However, if you look at them, they don't have a crazy lifestyle. So both of those people, they are millionaires. It's simply that they made their wealth differently and they use it differently. Now, is it a bad thing to chase luxury, to want a better lifestyle for yourself? Of course not. The truth is, if you are a subscriber on my channel, you probably want to have an abundant life for yourself. You want to travel, to pick your own schedule, to work from wherever you want in the world, whenever you want, to be able to give gifts to the people that you love, to buy anything you want without having to take the price tag into consideration. And you're damn right. I believe that life is suffering. However, let's suffer for something worthwhile. Let's suffer to achieve our goals, to build a better bodies, to be healthier, to build a thriving online businesses, because then the suffering is meaningful. I don't believe in just suffering for the sake of suffering. If you have an opportunity to start your own online business, to get in shape, to get that job that you've always dreamed of, whatever it is, why would you not give it your everything and follow that opportunity? Truthfully, I don't share my goals with people. And the reason why is because a lot of people, whenever you tell them your goals, if you have very ambitious goals, like you're a very driven and determined individual, so you aim really high. A lot of people, they are not going to understand you. And so they're going to criticize you, to make fun of your goals, to say that, why are you chasing luxury when some people, they can't even eat? Well, the truth is, if you don't have any money, you cannot solve world hunger because you're not going to feed people with your ideas and with your thoughts. You need money to help people. A lot of people are scared that if they make more money, they'll become bad or that they will have to do nasty things to get to the top. Truthfully, some rich people are dicks and some rich people are very generous and kind people. And the same thing applies to poor people. I like to say that money amplifies who you are. If you have a lot of money and you're very kind, very generous, you'll do more good with the money that you have because that's more resources at your disposal to do good in the world. Now, if you're very selfish, you don't care about other people and you only care about trivial materialistic things, then whether you make more money or less money, you'll be the same person anyway. It's fantasy lifestyle that does not actually exist and it's a fact that people come to realize much too late in their lives when they've given up all of their youth, all of their time and then they realize there's absolutely nothing at the top and that the main purpose of money is maybe it's not so much for personal consumption. Right? It's like really how much money can a single person spend? I don't know. Ask any rich kid. You know, how much food can you really eat at a buffet at some luxurious thousand dollar Michelin star restaurant? All you can really eat is about a bowl of rice and meat and maybe some vegetables. That's really about all you really need. I don't think that people are looking to start online businesses just to be able to afford some food. If you're watching my channel frequently, the reason why you do so it could be because you find my videos entertaining or valuable, but for a lot of you, it is because you want to start your own thriving online business. Some of you might already have a business and you want to grow it, you want to be more successful because you have big goals and you are aiming for the top. And I don't believe that when you reach the top, there's nothing there because otherwise, all the people who put in the work, who sacrificed, who put so much effort into climbing 
climbing that success mountain, they wouldn't stay at the top. If the view from the top, it was horrible. When somebody goes from being poor or being middle class to being wealthy or being rich, they never want to go back. Like a bowl of Panda Express is gonna do it for you, maybe five, ten bucks, and that's that's really about it. That's all you can really eat. You'll be full after that, and you're not going to want any more. That's true, but also at the same time, according to this kind of logic, we could say, why do people buy some Ferraris? Why do people buy Gucci? Why do people buy two fancier private schools? Why do people go and stay in five star hotels or dine in five star restaurants? Because these things, they offer a different experience, a premium experience. At the end of the day, money sure it buys you the necessities, the water, the food, the electricity, the heating, the roof over your head. It buys you those things. But then as you have more money, it buys you comfort. It also allows you to have a better environment, so a better network, more peace of mind, more well-being. And you cannot just look at a human being and say, okay, all you need is food, water, and a roof over your head, and you'll be happy. Because most people in the world, they actually have this. If you're watching this video right now, chances are you have this. But are you really happy? Do you feel fulfilled? Do you feel like you are doing something meaningful on a daily basis? Probably not. What I personally love is to set goals, to set challenges for myself, and to see that day after day, I move forward, I make progress, I do what it takes to crush my goals. That's what personally fuels me, drives me. So in that sense, we're not really like other animals. Because yes, human beings are animals, but at the same time, we have some needs that other animals they simply don't have. Like for instance, the need to accomplish ourselves, to contribute to the world in some way, to do something that we will be proud of. And so the thing to realize is this, a country, a government is going to want to keep its citizens working by really creating this end game where they're dangling this carrot in front of you to just keep you productive, keep you working, hustling, grinding away, and they just need to come up with all sorts of goat things for you. And so actually, it's a lot like a video game, like say Diablo 4. This might come as a shocker to some of you, but your government, they don't give a F about you. They don't even know your name. They don't even know that you exist. You're just one more number on a spreadsheet for them. That's all you are. I don't personally believe in politics because to me, each on the sides, they have their own agenda. And at the end of the day, they want to fulfill their own agenda. They don't care about you. They simply have to make it look like they care so that they can win elections. But deep down, they're selfish because we are all selfish. That's part of being human. But it's completely true that governments, they want you to get a job, to go to university, to get massively in debt. Like a lot of people, they get 100k in debt, 200k in debt, 300k in debt. So then you get your job and some people, they don't even get a job. Like it's becoming harder and harder to get a job because of AI and because of automations, for instance. And also there's more people in the world, so more competition. But you do that, you follow that path and you never question it your entire your life. And then you wake up early, you go to your job, you come back, you're exhausted. So all you want to do is to watch YouTube, Netflix, or play some video games. You don't want to take some time and to build your own online business or to invest in the stock market or in real estate to break free out of this system. A lot of people are going to say there's a matrix. And a lot of other people, they're also going to make fun of the people who said that there is a matrix. However, in my opinion, you can't really deny that there is a system in place that quite frankly doesn't care about you on an individual level. Governments just want you to go to your job, to pay taxes, and to die. That's it. They're looking at what's in it for them not for you. But so how do they keep you working? Like he said, they create some kind of end goal. They say that if you study hard your entire life, you go to this job, you're 300k in debt, and if you work really hard, you might be able to at some point buy a house or an apartment, have a family, and that's the dream that they sell you. Two weeks of vacations per year, a salary that is barely ever going to increase, and if it does, it's very small increases. And so that's basically the dream that they sell you. Now there's an alternative path, and that path, it is to become an entrepreneur, to start your own business. Now there's a difference between starting a regular business, a brick and mortar business, like a restaurant, a local gym, a hair salon, a car dealership, and starting an online business. There is so much BS and so much misinformation out there when it comes to starting an online business. There's so many people trying to make it look a lot easier than it actually is. Whether you start a brick and mortar business or an online business, or whether you even have a job, a career, it is hard anyway. It's just that the payouts are not the same. If you want to make a million dollars a year, or you wanted to make three million dollars a year, good luck doing that with a job. Now you could make that money with a traditional brick and mortar business, for sure. However, most of it, it would be revenue not profit. You wouldn't take those $3 million home. And also with a brick and mortar business like a hair salon, a gym, a spa, not only it's very hard to start because you need a lot of upfront capital. So this means either you've got rich parents who can provide the capital for you. And for me, it wasn't the case. And for most of you right now, it's not going to be the case either. Or it means going to the bank and taking out a loan, getting massively in debt. And I don't know what you think, but personally, if I had any kind of debt whatsoever, I could never sleep peacefully at night. Because the more debt you have, even if it is what experts call good debt, meaning debt that you have to buy, 
buy real estate properties or to make some investments that will in the future make you technically speaking richer. However, the more debt you have, the less control you have over your own life. When I was a kid, I wanted to be free so damn badly. And I saw all those people going to their meaningless jobs, being depressed, being alcoholics, and I didn't want to end up like that. I didn't want to have two weeks of vacations per year if I worked hard all year. And then to do what on those two weeks of vacations anyway? To just spend my time watching Netflix or watching TV. I thought, is that life? Sure, you're not starving to death, you're not in a war zone, but surely there is more to life than just those things. And at the time when I was a kid, at some point there wasn't even Instagram. So I didn't really see this kind of influencer lifestyle on social media, but I did stumble upon YouTube videos showing me how I could build my own online business. So I started to learn. I remember I would go to bed at like 4 a.m., then I would have to wake up at like 6 to go to school, and I often did that. But I would just be sitting down on my bed, having a notepad, writing down some notes, trying to learn about email marketing and about this and about that. But the point is, from a very young age, I knew what I wanted, or at least I knew what I didn't want. And so I was trying to find an alternative path. And today, thanks to starting my own online business, this is the sort of life that I have managed to build for myself. Now, can I guarantee in any way that you will get similar results? Not necessarily. There are way too many variables to take into consideration to guarantee any outcome whatsoever. However, if you never start your own business, you'll never know how far you could take it, what sort of life you could build for yourself. When you start an online business, typically there are a lot less costs involved than if you wanted to start, like I said, a brick and mortar business. You could technically speaking, start an online business for free. Like if you wanted to become a TikTok influencer, you could turn that into a business and you can start it for free. Because if you already have a phone, not even a laptop, a phone and a steady internet connection, you could start making videos on TikTok. So that's one of the examples of a kind of business that you could start even if you've got no money to invest. You know, the average millionaire is 57 years old and a lot of them, they made their wealth through real estate. But that was over decades of insanely hard work and most likely slave like I was. However, there is a strange phenomenon that has been taking place in the last recent decades. And I've been studying this one very closely because I knew that if I figured it out, then I would understand the key to building my dream life. The statistics show that people are becoming millionaires younger than ever. People are able to become millionaires in their 20s, sometimes even before than that. I mean, just think about how crazy this is. And people are also able to become millionaires in their 30s. Now, back then, if you wanted to become a millionaire and you were from a low income or middle class or even poor family, you were pretty much screwed unless you worked your entire life and maybe one day you would become a millionaire. But quite honestly, 99.9% .9 of people, they would simply fail because back then you would have needed to open up factories to buy some land. So it required a lot of money to get started. And nowadays, people, they complain about having to sit down at a desk and to do two hours of deep work per day. I mean, come on, this is a joke. You can't expect to achieve the extraordinary if you're not willing to put in extraordinary effort. But the only reason people are able to become millionaires in their 20s or 30s nowadays, it is thanks to the internet and to social media. Without those two tools, it would be impossible, let me tell you. You know, like when you take a look at the old story of the fisherman and the business person, the fisherman says, well, why do they need all these fancy cars, business suits and fancy houses when they already have the perfect life living on an island eating fresh fish? They already have everything that they need right there. The problem, of course, is that modern society has brainwashed so many of us into believing that a career and the pursuit of money is somehow really going to make us happy. In my opinion, a career is only going to make you happy if you feel called to do it. If that's something that when you wake up every morning, you feel like you have to do it, but like in a positive way. Like this is what you were on earth to do. Like it's your mission. Maybe you're in real estate and you're very passionate about it. So it's amazing. There's nothing wrong with that. Just take a look at Ryan Zerant. The guy doesn't hate his life. If anything, his career allowed him to have an incredible life. But is it going to be the case for most people? Quite frankly, no. Most people are going to pick a job just because it makes money, obviously. I mean, that's what everybody goes to school for, to get a job to make money. And some people, they will be satisfied with their 9 to 5 or whatever the schedule is. But some others, they simply won't because they want more than that. Now, I'm not like one of those people who is going to claim that everyone can be a millionaire or everyone can be an entrepreneur. Because honestly, I don't believe that's the case at all. But chances are, if you are watching this video right now, or if you watch my channel frequently, you are an ambitious individual. You want to obtain the best life. And why should anyone try to make you feel guilty for wanting to experience the best things that life has to offer? There is literally nothing wrong with that. Your life so you may as well leave because soon enough, time's up. You're going to find actually that a lot of luxury is, is fake. It's a fake image. It doesn't actually exist. And the reality of luxury is that it's a lot like those travel Instagrammers, right? They show you this beautiful beach, this paradise place. And it, the reality is it doesn't really exist. Maybe it's very hot there. It's not comfortable. The food's pretty bad. There's mosquitoes everywhere. And the time wasted in the logistics and transit just make that trip not really worthwhile. And yet they're going to celebrate this 
idea and push it on you. He's got a point about influencers in general, especially about the mosquitoes. But it's completely true that most people, they want the ideal lifestyle. Like I've seen so many videos on TikTok or YouTube about billionaire visualization or look, I'm going to manifest this kind of life. In reality, most people, they never will. And for a reason, it is insanely difficult. But more so than that, most people, they're simply not willing to put in the work and to make the necessary sacrifices to make six or even seven figures a year. However, is luxury fake? Is it not worth it? I'm going to tell you from a fact, from my own experience. I've experienced poverty and I've also experienced being wealthy. And I can tell you for a fact, being wealthy is infinitely better than being poor. And now you might think, okay, thank you, Captain Obvious, because yeah, obviously. But like I said, there are two very different types of millionaires. Some millionaires, they only want to spend $10 a day. They're very minimalistic. They don't really care about spending much. They don't want the Rolls Royce. They just don't care because they care more about the freedom. And some other millionaires, they care just as much about the freedom aspect, but they also like the nice things. You know, Jeff Bezos, 59 years old or so, and he's retired living it up. But if you take a look at his actual lifestyle, let's see what he's doing with all of his wealth. Okay, number one is he's got this mega yacht. You know, you don't need to own a mega yacht. You can simply rent one. You could get on a cruise boat. And, you know, a cruise boat is going to be a much better better experience arguably because it's going to be big and it's going to have good food you don't need to buy that thing he's got this 165 million dollar mansion but who's going to live in this thing just he and his wife like i mean you could live in a hotel a hotel is going to cost more than that and really my view is that with the realities of modern day living and airbnb and hotel economies the rental economy is so good that you can just rent anything you want. You really no longer need to own the thing unless you want to have a business you're running on the side. He's got a point. I've seen many penthouses and you can rent them for like $8,000 a month up to $10,000 a month. And that's in London, Canary Wharf. So honestly, to live the sort of life that you want to live, you probably need less money than you actually think. Like a lot of people, they think if they want to live a crazy lifestyle, like the kind they see on Instagram, like on my Instagram, they need to become millionaires or even multi-millionaires. In reality, that's not necessarily the case. Just do some research, figure out how much it's going to cost to live the sort of life that you want, and then you'll probably realize, ah, oh, it's not actually like seven figures. Now, with that said, if you want to start your own online business, but you don't know what to do, you don't know where to start, I have recorded a free video in which I am going to analyze every popular online business model. Together, we take a look at the pros, at the cons, and I am also going to share with you the three-step process that you can use to start your own business today and start getting your first customers. The link is in the description below. And with that said, as always, I am waiting for you on the other side.